Hello. You see, because I'm not a girl, I walk like a woman right over here. So you see, my head tie is falling apart. I need to tie it back, or else you will see what is under is not tidy. <laughs> Wow. Um, first thing first, on behalf of the African Union Commission, we join our voices to condole with ITU on the death of Marcelino Tayolo and Meganet Abebe, who lost their lives. We pray that the Almighty God will comfort their families and take care of their children. Having said that, I want to recognize, I don't see her in the hall. But since this is a speech given to me to read, I just noticed that she's not in the hall. So maybe I will start by saying, Her Excellency, Mrs. Saleh Wok Zede, <laughs> President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, in absentia. Her Excellency, Ms. Yalem Segaye Asfo, Minister for Women's Children and Youth Affairs, Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. His Excellency, he, Mr. Sise Tola, that sounds Yoruba, State Minister for Innovation and Technology, Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Excellencies, my sisters and brothers, ambassadors here present. Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Director for Telecommunication. Development Bureau, ITU, and co-founder of Equals, Mr. Andrew Rugege. Thanks for those wonderful words of inspiration you gave this morning. Regional Director of ITU, Regional Office for Africa. Distinguished invited guests, and of course, the young girls, brilliant and beautiful, in the hall. Welcome. <laughs> On behalf of my sister, her Excellency Dr. Amani Abu Zaid, Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy, I would like to welcome all of you to this celebration of Girls in ICT Day. This annual event that we are pleased to organize in collaboration with ITU Regional Office for Africa. I remember the very successful meetings hosted by AU Commission since 2014, and we have the great pleasure to welcome this sixth celebration in 2019. I take this opportunity to thank ITU for bringing the Global Girls in ICT celebration to Africa. <laughs> Young ladies, today the African Union Commission opens its doors for you because we believe that you are the future. No, I don't like saying future. You are the present and the future of Africa. Because if we don't invest in you today, there's going to be no future. So you are the present and the future of Africa, our demographic assets. You are not liabilities. You are not second class citizens. You are girls. You are brilliant. You are young. And African girls can code. This day is yours, and we are all gathered here to make it unique, inspirational, and memorable day for you. In today's global and digitalized world, where more than half of the world's population is online, I learned 52%. Talking about information communication technologies refers in reality to the ability to participate in modern society where more and more services are computer supported and distributed through internet and ICT networks. It's not only about WhatsApp, it's not only about Facebook, it's not only about, um, tell me what you normally do, we chat or what Instagram, email, etc. But using your head to get money in your pockets because ICT can empower you and give you the future that you want. African digital future depends on the 21st century skills, which are essentially based on the use of ICTs. Although Africa has seen the fastest internet growth rates this last decade, with the number of internet users 
across the continent, increasing by more than 20% year on, year in. Much remains to be done to equip our African citizens with the required ICT and digital skills to allow them to safely explore and navigate in the digital world. The strategic importance of ICTs and internet as key drivers for change in all aspects of our everyday lives have made it for us a top priority to raise awareness of the young generation and especially you, brilliant young ladies seated here on the need to develop interest on ICT and at early age and focus on science and technology as they represent the present and the future. Young girls, ladies and gentlemen, statistics show that African women are underrepresented in science and technology in general and in ICT in particular, whether in terms of access, use of digital application and services for employment. Taking into account the positive and huge impact of ICT on social development and economic growth, and that considering also the great career opportunities in this growing field for, of ICTs for closing the gender and employment gap in Africa, we believe there is an urgent need to create an enabling environment that encourages and promotes greater female participation in shaping Africa's digital future. We further strongly believe on the necessity to attract girls to ICT as the best way to allow them to harness the potential of these new tools to become not just recipients, but also future leaders and decision makers within the ICT sector. Some African countries have already put in place policies and programs to mainstream girls in ICT. For example, Mozambique, South Africa, Ghana, Benin, Zambia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda have made a specific reference to gender equity and the empowerment of women in their national policy for ICT in education. In addition to relevant experiences on gender mainstreaming of ICTs of some African countries, such as Nigeria, has developed flagship programs for gender inclusion and empowering women through ICT, namely through the creation of Digital Guest Club in secondary schools to help girls develop an early interest digital technologies and also an initiative related to building up ICT skills of selected unemployed girls to fill vacant ICC, IT jobs in the country. Mauritius has also developed an ICT literacy program, the Internet and Computing Core Certification, IC3, which is a full day's program dedicated only for women. Rwanda has created Digital Ambassador Program as a youth-led movement to sustainably transform communities across the country in bridging the ICT skills gap. Ethiopia Initiative 2017, aiming to impart digital skills to young girls from the age of from age 10 to 18 by providing them with the opportunity to learn the necessary skills to emerge as tech entrepreneurs through using ICT solutions to build business plans and mobile applications to address community problems. All these successful experiences that seek to attract and promote girls in ICT and high-tech world need to be highlighted and replicated across the continent to enable all African girls to be in contact with technology to motivate them and encourage them to take engineering classes in computer science, mathematics, and technology courses to become female tech leaders. Young girls, ladies and gentlemen, 
Digital literacy for girls is of high importance for the African Union Commission. We promote the policy of gender mainstreaming and women empowerment through ICTs and support all the national and regional initiatives that support full participation of African women and girls in building modern information. Society and strong digital economy. Under the Continental Education Strategy for Africa, 2016-2025, we have a thematic cluster called ICT, ICT for Girls. And in this wise, we are encouraging that our young women are encouraged to take ICT as a curse. And this begins at early childhood education, where, you have to, where we have to make sure that through the teachers, you get the right kind of motivation to get interested in getting into ICTs and other STEM-related courses. Moreover, the African Union Commission is engaged in partnership with ITU and the UN Women in an initiative called African Girls Can Code Initiative, which is a four-year program from 2018 to 2021 aiming at offering African girls the opportunity to learn and develop the necessary digital skills and competencies to code and develop ICT applications. I am pleased to announce that the African Union Commission hosted the first digital camp in August 2018. Also, I am pleased to announce that the African Union Commission officially launched the African Women for Infrastructure Network this year. This initiative seeks to promote women's participation in infrastructure development by increasing access to STEM for girls in school and involving women in engineering and related disciplines. Moreover, this initiative will support member states' engagement in policy dialogue to promote women's participation in the fourth industrial revolution as the best way for getting girls and women out of the informal sector. In conclusion, I would like to encourage all of you, young ladies, in your studies and advise you to fully use ICTs and digital platforms as powerful and revolutionary tools that facilitate research as well as rapid and democratic access to information and knowledge. Let me tell you, self-dignity, self-value, self-esteem, nobody can give it to you except you give it to yourself. The way you value yourself is the way people will prize you. You have the brains, you have beauty with brains, and never allow any man to use your body for what it is not meant for. You need to give yourself that respect first, because you are not any man's tool. You are dynamite, you are the diamonds, and the jewels, and the golds of Africa. You are the one that will take this Africa to where we want it to be in 2063. And calm down, we are 44 years to 2063. Dream. Like the regional, direct, the regional director said, dream and dream and dream and dream big. Don't ever, ever think that you are too small to make a change. It is somebody that says that if you feel that you are too small, then you have not spent a night with a mosquito. Because if you did, you will know that the mosquito cares less about who is rich, who is poor, who is disabled, who is handicapped. So my beautiful daughters of Africa, you are the sun, you are the gold, you are the diamonds that make Africa sparkle. We speak of the African dream. That dream can only be realized if you take ICT to where it is supposed to go. Never allow emotional issues derail you. This is a historic moment. And celebrating ICT Day, as the regional director said, inspires young girls. And you know that you can do it because other girls have done it before you. So the job market has an ICT component. And you are giving yourself employment by capacitating yourself with ICT skills. Agenda 2063, that vision of an integrated, prosperous, and peaceful Africa, driven by its own competent and skilled citizens. You are the competent and skilled citizens. And that competence can only come if you take ICT as a serious boyfriend. Hello? Serious boyfriend. And that is the only way you can make a change. So getting ICT education and training makes you competent. So you are joining the global movement 
depicted in Agenda 2063. Remember, knowledge is power. You are young, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, and the world is at your feet. People must bow and cave down for you because you've got beauty with brains. And when you speak, people will see what you have. African girls indeed can pull. You represent the workforce of Africa. Thank you for the African Girl Can Code initiative. Coding is across all phases of life, and I'm happy you even mentioned it in fashion designing. I learned that when you were speaking today. And coding improved the quality of human life. Yes. We are proud of the work you're doing, and I'm even more proud of what you girls are going to achieve. Good luck in all your undertakings. Thank you.